What's going on guys, Sean Boyle here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an aerial virtual tour from scratch. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe and click that little bell too so you get notifications whenever we post a new video, you will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, guys, let's get started like always. So first and foremost, before I begin the video, really just wanna give a big shout out, my thoughts and prayers to everybody experiencing trauma in Texas. You guys aren't aware of this huge storm that just demoralized the entire, uh, I mean, Texas state, there's really not much else to say, but people are without power, they're without water and food, the proper resources and necessities to live. So just keep them in uh, your mind. And thoughts and prayers uh it's just you know they're going through a lot right now but topic of this video is going to be how to create an aerial virtual tour this is so freaking cool guys i literally saw this on cloud pano's website i was going through their gallery and i saw something just absolutely incredible and i thought i'd share with you so this school saint george school and again before i go into this Momentum did not shoot this. We have no affiliation with this school and the company who shot this, who did this majestic work. I don't know who it is. If I knew, I would give it a shout out because it's just tremendous. But I thought I would learn for myself and teach you guys how to do it too. So essentially, this school in Rhode Island, St. George School, they wanted a, I guess, an aerial virtual tour. So as you can see, there is a 360 pano of a drone and it's not only the interior with the virtual tour, but it's the exterior. It's showing off all of this wonderful land, their fields, their great architecture. I mean, look at this church right here. Look at all of this, all the water. I mean, tennis courts. I mean, I wonder how much these guys pay for tuition, but I mean, it's just crazy, right? It's so, it's so nice. So how do you do this? And again, I will say first and foremost, guys, I am just learning about this. So it's going to take me about a week to become you know, an amateur professional, whatever you want to call it. But what I did is I actually had my buddy, John McKnight, shoot an aerial drone pano and kind of stitch together everything. So let me show you what we're working with. So we took a DGI Mini 2 drone and essentially just took 360 photos of this gorgeous uh, greenhouse in PA. And as you see, you're adding in these little blurbs, these you know, uh, auras, I like to call them, and you can change these out. I mean, I went through a how to optimize cloud pano video last week, so definitely check that out, leave a like. But if you wanna change this, what I would recommend is keeping these prominent to the aerial, to the actual, you know, exterior outside, because you're gonna go, as you see here, if we go over to the windmill, for instance, like I just clicked here, it's gonna show off the windmill. So I would say keep these little icons for the aerial. Don't make these, you know, don't make them a, just an arrow. I would save the arrows for what you're gonna be showing in the inside. So what I would do is, and again, if you guys have any questions or, or concerns or comments, always willing to learn, always willing to learn. And by no means am I, you know, the best virtual tour guy on the planet. I'm just here to help you guys out and, and teach you. But uh, I like to think I'm, I'm pretty damn good at this. So. What I would say is uh, just, you know, greenhouse, something basic like that. Greenhouse, boom. Let's do a gold star because we love it. <laughs> and there we go. Uh, if you want to obviously change it to an arrow, whatever you want to do. But what St. George did, and this is really creative, is for their chapel, they just went in there. And now you can check out the entire place. You can go through it how like you normally do with Cloud Pano, but... You can also view the aerial. You can view the outside, all the luxurious green, and it's just the best. I mean, because if you think about it, guys, sure, the inside of a place is great, but you need to show the outside of it too. And this is something that I was completely oblivious to a year ago, where I said to myself, oh, we just need to show the inside of the property. But if you think about it, there's a whole other side of the outside of the property that is supposed to be shown off, whether it's real estate, schools, anything i think it would definitely benefit if we have both sides of the coin wouldn't you agree so 
That being said, I think the best way to go about doing this, again, if I'm going back to my example, is you have one main image, let's just say it's this right here, and you'll then, whether it's the DJI Mini 2, or you're shooting with another, this is just what we have, the DJI Mini 2 drone, and then I think we shot this with the Ricoh Theta Z1 or an Insta360, whatever we did, two quality 360 panel cameras, can't go wrong with either. I would definitely go with the Ricoh Theta Z1 though, just for my preference, you know, I just think it's the best camera on the market for 360 panos. But that being said, I would just take a main aerial photo that you're gonna show off everything, and then take these other secondary aerial shots, obviously connect them so you can go through and edit them so you can click through and, and just, you know, see them, get a better sense of the greenhouse or the pond or the bed, whatever you want to do. And then once you want to show the inside, which we didn't do the inside yet, but this is an ongoing project, you can then click, okay, go into the greenhouse. Then you can check out the greenhouse and do a complete walkthrough. So it makes sense. And you guys got to think about this too. For what you're getting with Cloud Panner, you can get a 360 dollhouse, which a lot of people were pretty psyched about. And I am too. I mean, for, for good reason. This is pretty cool. For 25 bucks, you kidding me? I think this is, someone commented on my last video, they go, oh my God, this is like the 13th wonder of the world or something. And it is, it's pretty cool. So that being said, guys, that's pretty much all we have. I think utilizing this really simple strategy is going to yield so many good results for you, your virtual tour business, your photography business, etc., and uh, for the community as well. And obviously, if you're a school, if you have, like I'm talking to Arizona State University right now, a little inside baseball, where they want to do something exactly like this for one of their training facilities. And I mean, why wouldn't they, right? You're showing off the school inside, you're showing off the training facility. If I'm an athlete, I'm gonna say, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm, you know, in Philadelphia where it's snowing right now, I don't necessarily have the time or just the, the, the sheer ability to go and travel to Arizona. So if I can view everything from my computer, from my office at home, then I'm gonna make a better decision and I'm probably gonna to come to ASU, you know? So that being said, uh, yeah, I just think this is a great idea. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments. Absolute pleasure, like always. Leave a like, subscribe, We're almost at a thousand almost at a thousand two thirds and we're just going to keep rocking and rolling here so thank you guys it's always a pleasure to teach it and i'll catch you in the next one bye